Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, okay? For Aquarius. What do we need to know for Aquarius in love? What are the what are the person that Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with? What are their thoughts or feelings towards Aquarius? What are their thoughts towards Aquarius? The person that Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? Five of Wands reverse, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Wands reverse. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, the Heart Font reverse. Taurus energy with the fire, the Heart Font reverse. Well, the Five of Wands reverse is all about overcoming a conflict or a problem. And since the Page of Cups is right next to that, I think this person is thinking of an apology or a way to make this better. A way to improve whatever the situation is right now. Maybe they weren't able to commit to you. Maybe there was a broken commitment with the Hierophant Reverse. Or maybe they just weren't very um, committal. Like they didn't really think that commitment was a thing for you. Or they told you they were willing to commit or able to commit, but they weren't. Ace of Wands Reverse is something that's not started, not begun. So I'm going to have to see what that's all about. But it looks like this person is, you know, when they think about you, they're thinking about offering you some sort of emotional uh message or making you an apology so let's see making you an apology could i even speak english for aquarius what do we need to know about the energies that this person that aquarius is dealing with is bringing to this connection what are their energies towards aquarius what are their energies towards aquarius what are their energies towards aquarius Peaceful, calm, and balanced. What are their energies towards Aquarius? Falling leaves, time changes everything. Changes transition time. What else? They're really hoping to balance this out. Yep, grounded, balanced, and rational. This person is just hoping that things are resolved. <laughs> That's all that they're hoping for. How do I fix this with Aquarius? What do I need to do? How do I get this done has enough time passed for aquarius to change their mind it's kind of what i'm getting here or time has passed and i have changed my thoughts have changed about the situation and now i'm thinking that i would like this to be balanced out and resolved i want peace again with aquarius tell me about the five of wands reverse what do we need to know about the five of wands reverse what do we need to know yeah, the star. There you are, Aquarius. <laughs> Peace, healing, hope. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Reverse. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, let's talk this out. Let's resolve this. This person wants to tell you something with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups. Yep, and there's a Page of Cups again. So the message is very clear here, Aquarius. So tell me about this Page of Cups, even though I already know what it's about, but tell me uh, more about this Page of Cups. What do we need to know about this Page of Cups? Nine of Wands. What do we need to know about this Page of Cups? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. And then there's Justice, Libra Energy at the bottom of the deck. I think this person is worried. I mean, they, I think they see you as this Nine of Wands. Like, what do you want? Why are you here? I don't trust your intentions. I've been through too much with you. I have my guard up. I'm defensive resistant because of what's happened, etc., etc. I think this person might also apologize for their behavior because it maybe they were at fault mostly. And now it's like again, how to make this work again? How to resolve this? What do I need to do to resolve this with Aquarius? I don't know what happened between you. I don't know how far along, you know, in the past this was, but that's what they're thinking or feeling right now. Tell me about this Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? The Knight of Cups, my goodness. Why is the Ace of Wands 
Reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Justice. Oh my god. Yeah, this is very clear energy. They're not able to get things moving with you or started or they're not able to have a new beginning because this isn't resolved with you, you know? Page of Swords. Let's talk about high strength here with the four reverse. The High Priestess and the Seven of Cups. Oh yeah, they, I feel like they're stuck. They're stuck, yeah, and the Four of Pentacles. They're stuck because they're scared. So even though they feel all of these things, I wish I could tell you how I feel and not make sense. They, they want to tell you they've changed. They want to tell you that you are the one for them, that they're sorry, but they're not brave enough to do that. Um, I think they wonder about your reaction. Maybe you've already told them, I never want to see you again or something like that, or it's over completely and that keeps them from moving, coming forward. So I honestly, I feel like this person is all bark, no bite in, in the sense that they're, they're, thoughts and feelings are super strong and very focused energy but when it comes to you know the time like when it, when it comes to actually taking action there's they're a sitting duck they're a sitting duck and it's almost like they're thinking well which which option would be the best option seven of cups what would be the best course of action you know as they secretly pine over you this is what they're thinking Tell me more about this person's intentions. Tell me more about this person's intentions. What are their intentions towards Aquarius? What are their intentions, their true intentions towards Aquarius? What are their true intentions? Swan. Well, the swan's very creative. The swan's very reflective. Um, and then I have the octopus which the octopus is about entanglements. So, you know, I feel for this person to an extent because I feel like they're trying to just figure out <clears throat> a way to get what they want. Yeah, this person has been reflecting on how to create a, a new reality. An inner voice is waiting to be heard an inner vision likely to be revealed. <clears throat> I'm going to say something that I normally don't say. I think this person's a little obsessed. I think that this is all they think about. I think their mind is these oct oct octopus tentacles. You know, just constantly like thinking, reaching, um, planning in secret. I also find it fascinating that we got two swans here. Uh, both with reflections. I mean, it's literally these two, these are the same card. So I, I think honestly that they are hoping that you feel the same way, but they're never going to know for sure if they don't open up. What else do we need to know about this person or the energies here? What else do we need to know about this person or the energies here? Thoughts. Oh yeah. They are thinking about you a lot. A lot, a lot. And bottom of the deck, concern. And they're worried because I honestly, I feel like this is in their mind, this is a pipe dream. <laughs> this is something that has the potential to never happen. This is how they how they feel. This is someone who, when they tell you in their mind, when they tell you that they have changed, you won't believe them. And I keep getting this message for so many different types of signs where there is this almost like expectation that they'll be rejected. It's it's not just you, it's a lot of other signs too. And that keeps them from moving forward because they, they're not strong enough or brave enough to do it, to face rejection, you know? They can, they can think about you all they want, but I feel like their fear of rejection is stronger than their feelings for you. It's really what it ends up being. They end up holding back, yeah. Ten of Swords here behind the Four of Pentacles. It could be that, you know, they've been holding on to you despite an ending that happened or the ending that happened between you was so bad that for them to come forward, they have to come on their best behavior with the best offer, with the best, you know, course of action. The, you know, the message needs to be spoken from the heart, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like it, it kind of, they hold back because of this, because it's almost like, how is it even possible to come back from what happened? 
Oh no, I just dropped all my cards. Okay, <laughs> thank you for watching Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this uh, bonus reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.